The world's largest space observatory will see deeper into space and time than any previous telescope. JWST, James Webb Space Telescope, has had a busy year. In today's video, we'll go through what the James Webb Telescope is, speak about its history, the discovery of a warp bubble, and current updates on the telescope. There were no planets identified besides those in our own solar system when the earliest designs of JWST were proposed more than 20 years ago. Thousands of planets circling other stars in our galaxy have been discovered since then, according to scientists, exoplanets. The study of their atmospheres will take up a large portion of the JWST observation mission. JWST's wavelength coverage is especially well suited to analyzing chemicals in extraterrestrial atmospheres, as well as the low infrared background from space, giving it a significant edge over Earth-based observatories. Webb's name was initially given to what would have formerly been known as the Next Generation Space Telescope in 2002. However, there appears to be some drama around the telescope's name. Many scientists argue that Webb discriminated against homosexual and lesbian NASA personnel during his tenure as the agency's administrator, and that his name should not be attached to the high-profile observatory. According to The Atlantic, Webb was supposed to cost half a billion dollars and be ready for launch in 2007, but as we all know by now, that didn't happen until some months ago. Given the spacecraft's tremendously complicated and unique design, these estimations proved to be way too optimistic. Nonetheless, experts believe that the outcomes will more than make up for time and money spent on them. Webb isn't just a bigger and more powerful telescope than Hubble. While it has well over two and a half times the diameter and a hundred times the sensitivity of the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST is fundamentally different. Ordinary optical telescopes view the same portion of the spectrum as human eyes, encompassing a wavelength range of around 380 to 740 nanometers nm. Hubble covered all of this, as well as a small portion of the ultraviolet and infrared at longer wavelengths. According to NASA's JWST website, the JWST will be primarily an infrared telescope, with a wavelength range of 600 to 28,000 nm. As a result, it will only be able to perceive orange and red light, as well as a wide variety of longer wavelengths beyond that. What is JWST's time frame? For a long time, all of the focus was on the telescope's launch, but now that that's done, we can focus on the telescope's schedule. Fortunately, NASA has provided a detailed explanation of the telescope's official timeline. The satellite's various components were deployed in the first month. The sunscreen helped the telescope and instruments cool quickly at this point. Although it took a few weeks for them to reach stable temperatures, Mirrors are being installed at this time, and testing will be conducted to ensure that they move. After that, the satellite will continue its test for the following few months. The JWST will be directed at a bright star with its fine guidance sensor to show its ability to acquire and lock onto targets. Then comes the tedious task of calibrating the telescope optics. After that, all the scientific instruments' numerous modes of operation will be calibrated. Observations will begin at this point, observing moving objects like asteroids, comets, moons, and planets in our own solar system. At this point, Webb will begin its science mission at this point, running normal testing and sending back findings. So, what might we anticipate from this incredible telescope? Unlike Hubble, it will be able to see directly into stellar nurseries, where stars and their planetary systems are being formed. The findings will provide light on how dust and gas clouds collapse to generate stars, as well as how planetary systems form around them. Knowing when the earliest stars originated, just after the Big Bang, and understanding how they generated the building blocks of the first galaxies, is a significant scientific subject, and one of JWST's key science objectives. We know that the components vital for life and advanced technology, including carbon, silicon, and gold, were eventually generated in early stars, but we don't know how. In addition to studying the first stars and galaxies, JWST will carry out a variety of scientific missions. It is envisioned as a multi-purpose observatory, where astronomers from all over the world may apply for time to do research. By viewing in the infrared, for example, we will be able to see through the clouds of dust that enshroud extremely young stars, which are opaque to visible light. In addition to investigating planets outside our solar system, JWST will be able to examine our own planetary system. Its high sensitivity will allow it to identify and characterize comets and other ice things in the solar system's furthest reaches. These things have remained virtually intact since their birth in such a remote region, and they may offer clues about Earth's beginnings, notably the source of its water, which might be the consequence of bombardment by such bodies early in its lifespan. JWST will also be able to examine the atmosphere and seasonal weather fluctuations of all planets outside of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Warp Bubble These are only a few of the findings we may expect. However, videos and stories have recently surfaced online claiming that James Webb Telescope Warp Bubble. So, did they? What is the burning question on everyone's mind? So, before we tell you that, let's discuss what precisely a warp bubble is. A warp bubble is a piece of space that is constricted in front and extended in the rear. It's a difficult concept that requires a lot of math. But at its most basic level, it's a bit of space that is contracted in the front and expanded in the back. 
the contraction and expansion hypothetically drive the bubble, and its contents ahead at speeds higher than the speed of light, without ever breaking the laws of physics. You're not literally moving faster than light, you're surfing a condensed space bubble. Warp bubbles are particularly significant because they remove redshift, which is a key issue with faster than light travel. Let's say you were able to travel faster than the speed of light. Everything outside of your vessel would accelerate, implying that your three-hour tour of a pleasant tropical world may have corresponded to years on Earth. Simply said, if you want to travel faster than light while adhering to known physical rules, you should say goodbye to everything you've ever loved before leaving. Again, warp bubbles solve this problem since the space inside the bubble is unaffected. Therefore, an hour of warp travel would imply that just an hour had passed for everyone else who wasn't in a sci-fi pocket. How do you find a warp bubble? The negative energy limitation may appear to be a death knell for warp drive, yet there are still some rays of hope. For one thing, according to physicist Eric Lentz's study from 2021, we may be able to do away with this criterion entirely. The Casimir phenomenon, which causes magnetic fields to fluctuate, might be the source of the answer for White and colleagues. In a nutshell, the Casimir effect is an attractive force of fluctuating magnetic fields that pulls two objects together in a vacuum, such as plates or mirrors. According to the theory, electromagnetic waves flow constantly even in a vacuum, but only a few tiny waves can fit between the two objects. As a result, the total vacuum energy between the items becomes less than the outside energy, attracting them together. Negative energy may be formed on an extremely tiny scale during such interactions. White and colleagues were looking for something called Casimir cavities for DARPA when they found something that looks suspiciously like a warp bubble in their calculations. Is this a genuine warp bubble? It appears to have the potential to be so, if only it could be empirically confirmed. Not all scientists, though, are convinced. Regardless of how this recent discovery turns out, White believes that scientists and aerospace engineers are still a long way from constructing a true warp drive, and that's not a problem he's aiming to address right now. So, did the Webb telescope find a warp bubble? We can't say for sure, but nothing of the sort has been shown on the NASA website, so it's unlikely. But would the telescope find one? That remains to be seen. Updates The James Webb Space Telescope traveled over a million miles, 1.5 million kilometers, to its forever home, a Lagrange Point, which is a gravitationally stable place in space in 30 days. On January 24, 2022, the telescope reached L2, the second Sun-Earth-Lagrangian point. The L2 region is a region in space near Earth that is against the Sun. This orbit will keep the telescope in alignment with Earth as it orbits the Sun. Several other space telescopes have used it, notably the Herschel Space Telescope and the Planck Space Observatory. So, towards the end of February, the telescope reached a significant milestone. A third of seven planned phases to align the 18 segments of Webb's huge mirror has recently been achieved by the James Webb Space Telescope team. The researchers revised the placements of Webb's primary mirror segments and altered the alignment of the secondary mirror during the second step, dubbed segment alignment, to bring the 18 individual pictures into focus. The 18 pictures were then layered to create a single image. The Webb telescope then discovered some important findings in math. On April 1st, NASA announced that the James Webb Space Telescope is only one step away from completing its seven-phase alignment procedure. The observatory's most heat-sensitive equipment, the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, must cool even more in the last stage. This should happen in the coming weeks. Despite the fact that the Webb Telescope took so long to launch and had obstacles along the way, it appears to have a bright future ahead of it. If you reached this far in the video and want to see more, check out the video on Parker's probe new and stained discovery on the Sun. So how do you feel about the Webb Telescope? Do you believe a true war bubble will be discovered soon? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.